good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever time it is where you are. You know, today we're going to be talking about a new development by HAJ called Sundown Palms. New development that's now selling. So let's look at, you know, what type of development is this? As usual, we are going straight to the HAJ's website to view you know, everything that we're going to be talking about here on the video. So it's a gated community consisting of 148 housing solutions, well, housing units. It's a mixture of 71 duplex townhouses and six standalone units of a similar design. So 71 times two, if my math is correct, it's 142 and then six single units. So the duplex would be Two townhouses basically joined together. So I feel like I wasn't looking in the lens a while ago. Anyway, yeah, let me look in the lens now. Yeah, so the duplex units. So those are basically two townhouses joined together, as the thumbnail of the video will show. And then you have six units by themselves. Right, so that's it. So the development is located approximately. 20 kilometers west of Kingston and comprises of 5.2 hectares or 13 acres. Yeah. Right. I don't know how to measure an acre. So if anybody knows that, you can always put it in the description to say if that is a good size development or not. More on the location. It's located in the Portmore era. It says it's easy to access the commercial hub of the three main town centers which are Portmore, Spanish Town and Kingston. So basically what they're saying here is Sandown Palms is not far out of town basically. But more on the location. They seem to be giving us so much more on the location. They want to ensure that we can find it I guess. Sandown Palms is also in close proximity to access points for Highway 2000 and the North Dash South Coast highways right it's located across from the Ascot group of schools right the entrance will be taken from the northwest 12th street at the intersection of northwest 11th avenue so those who live in this area you know will be a bit more familiar with what is being said here but this is just to give you an overall idea of where to locate you know this development so you may be wondering though yes HAG right they are the they are one of the persons behind the development who is the contractor here so the name of the contractor is NF Barnes Construction and Equipment Company Limited that's the name of the contractor all right so let's look here at the Floor plan of the development. All right, so we're going to start with downstairs first, the ground floor. So the porch, and you know, just something to note about, you know, how we're giving out the dimensions now. They're going to be on the screen as well. So the dimensions will be giving the width first, and then the length, right? So you can bear that in mind. So the porch is six feet five inches by five feet one inch the stepping onto the inside now we have the living and dining room area which is 10 feet 10 inches by 14 feet in length we have the kitchen which is 14 feet 3 inches by 14 feet 7 inches and then the back part you know that is gonna be 9 feet 2 inches by 5 feet 8 inches and then right beside the back part here we have the laundry area which is 5 feet 5 inches by 5 feet 2 inches so you know that's just to give you an idea of what you know the dimensions of the ground floor not sure you may hear hear some noise going on outside they're doing some construction so you may hear some of that in the video as well but in any case this is the ground floor this is the ground plan here 
Alright. How do you feel about it? Do you think that this is enough space for you personally if you were to get one of these units? Well, you can feel free to drop your comments down below. So we're gonna move to the upstairs or the first floor. And something interesting to note is that the first bedroom, which is the smaller of the two bedrooms, has a balcony, but the larger bedroom, which is at the back, doesn't have one. Not sure why that is the case. Uh, perhaps the developer can or ATJ can comment on that as to why that is the case. But the balcony, same thing with the, as the front porch, six feet by five inches by five feet one inches. The first bedroom, the smaller one, that is 10 feet by 10 inches by 10 feet one inch. It's kind of small when they compare to the standards that we're seeing in other developments right now. Not sure how that would sit with you who you are viewing the video. You know, you could always comment us the same. So let's look at the closet space. It's six feet by six inches by one feet seven inches. So that's what you get in there in terms of closet space. For the bathroom, the bathroom is six feet five inches by five feet. There's also a linen closet right beside the bathroom for the first bedroom. Don't have the dimensions here for that, but just letting you know as well. So let's step on now to the second bedroom. And that one is 14 feet 7 inches by 10 feet 5 inches. So that's closer to what we are seeing in today's you know, housing developments. This is the size room that we're seeing as a standard. The bathroom is the same as the first bedroom. 6 feet 5 inches by 5 feet. The closet door is a little bigger. It's five feet one inch by three feet 11 inches so it might sound that smaller but when you check it out how it's laid out it's actually bigger than the first closet so that's it for the bedrooms you know we're always invited to comment feel free to do it voice your opinion you like it say it. if you don't like it just to see it you're free to say it as well let's look at the application process right because currently these houses are now being sold right so the application process right here is on the HAJ's website so as usual you're gonna need documents such as your eligibility letter from NHT or pre-approval letter from whichever financial institution you're gonna be using you know outside of the NHT your TRN, a valid form of identification with a driver's license, passport, voter's ID, your birth certificate, and your marriage certificate. And this is only required for female applicants that are married. What I'll be doing as well is to leaving this information here in the description, links to you know the form itself, so that you can just tap on it and go through with the process if you're interested in getting one of these units so it's a pretty long form you know you notice we're still scrolling but anyway you know we don't want to waste your time so that's it for the form but now here comes the million dollar question the prices for these developments now the prices 22.1 million dollars yeah as usual you know we invite you to comment if you think what you're getting here bear in mind that we don't know the amenities of the you know the scheme itself but do you think that the, the size of the units the size of the land space do you think it's worth the 22.1 million feel free to comment you know but that's it for us here you know what just want to thank you for which if you watch this part of the video thank you very much and we invite you to subscribe we're trying to get to our 1000 subscribers mark so we appreciate your help in doing so those who have already subscribed thank you so much for doing so and don't forget to like and feel free to share it as well anyway 
you guys take care and we'll see you again soon